Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, February 9th, 2018. And in this video we're looking at the video by SpaceX Falcon Heavy Test Flight. Now some of the flat earth believers and others are claiming that this is all faked. And one of the things that they're using is a scene from the live feed of the launch of the Tesla Roadster. And they say that there was a glitch in the video which shows that the whole thing was filmed in a studio with green screen and so on. And I'm going to play the little segment of video that you might be seeing popping up in different little video clips here and there without telling the whole story. And then we're going to take a look at the whole story. So first of all, let's take a look at the clip from this video. So we can see the Roadster in space there. And then all of a sudden, we see this scene. And supposedly, that is meant to be the proof that this was filmed within a studio. Because uh, apparently the, the green screen fails and we see the inside of the studio. So let's take a closer look at what we see frame by frame. And see if we can figure this out. So here we are back at the start of that short sequence that we saw. Now, in case you don't know, if you want to, you can step through frames on any YouTube video by using the period or full stop key to advance one frame at a time and the comma key to uh, reverse one frame at a time. So here we are back at the start of that scene or in fact just before it changes. So moving forward one frame at a time. And there it suddenly changes. Now you'll notice, I'm going to step back again, you'll notice that the highlighting changes, I'm stepping backwards and forwards obviously, the lighting is completely different. So it's not like it suddenly changed where uh, a green screen is visible behind. The spotlighting and everything is completely different. So I'm stepping forward again and it will become clearer. Okay, so there's a bit more light there. Now does that look like a green screen or a blue screen to you? What does that look like to you? See if you can figure it out. Now we've got a lot more light there and we can see that it seems to have opened up in the middle. There's a bit of a clue there. So let's progress forward and it's getting wider and wider and wider. Okay, until the whole thing floods with light. And then the camera, which is set to automatic, has to adjust itself to compensate for the bright light. And then we see the Tesla Roadster come back into view. And we can see the Earth in behind. Okay. Now, question. If this is a genuine video, how did the car get up there? Well, we know it was launched on the SpaceX Falcon Heavy Test Flight rocket launch. It was housed inside a rocket. And it was protected inside that rocket. They didn't put it on the tip of the rocket and launch it with it balanced on the tip of the rocket. So it was protected inside the rocket until they were ready to uh, open the, the housing and expose the car to the outside space and light, of course, which flooded the, the car with light. Now the next bit that we're going to look at is we're just going to step back and see that this little segment that we've been watching was actually right on the end of this live feed video which is 34 minutes and 18 seconds long. And I'm not going to play the sound because of the music soundtrack otherwise I'll end up with a copyright strike. So they're all winding down and you, you, I'll post the link in the description area you can check this for yourself. So they're all winding down at the end of it. And as they say goodbye, they cut to the scene where they do a recap. And there we go. There it is again. They're doing a recap of the highlights of the launch. And we see this loop of images. And they're actually short loops too. Um, they're not longer sequences as we see earlier in the video. They're just cycling through a loop of um, highlight scenes. And here we go again. Here is the same scene. And any moment, here we go, there we, there's that bright flash again. So it's just a loop of the same scene. 
Now if we go right back in the video to about 25 minutes, we can see that original scene. You can see in the preview there of the rocket going up. So at about 25 minutes. Now along the bottom of the screen, I'll just play a bit of this so I can point it out. Right along the bottom of the screen here, behind the timestamp bar that pops up when I move my cursor, you can see that there is a summary of the progress of the launch and it's just above, progress is just above where my cursor is now. And right here you can see fairing deploy, fairing deploy there. And this is the point where the rocket housing is actually opened up, exposing the car to the outside space and the bright light. So you see as soon as that line gets up to the marker on fairing deploy, we're going to see that, that bright flash again coming up any moment. Here we go, inside the rocket housing flash, the fairing is deployed and the car is now exposed to the outside space and light. So what we saw at the end of the video was actually just a recap of what we see here at around about 2545 I think it was. Yep, there we go. So you can check that out. You'll find a link in the description area. Go to 2545 in the video and you'll see the same sequence right here. So obviously that is not inside a studio. It is inside the housing of the rocket before the fairing was deployed exposing the car to outside space and light and the camera being on automatic settings had to adjust itself. Thank you for watching and as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area.